We've got Cobra Khan for the Masters of the Universe Origins figures. Kind of retroactively put into the Snake Man group when originally he wasn't. Just one of Skeletor's guys. We'll talk about his original figure and how this Origins figure compares to it. So a little bit different body pieces here. I think the original figure, probably because of his feature, did have a little bit different parts. So we can see he doesn't have the standard furry tights. He's got kind of his own, maybe even scaly snakeskin kind of attire. Of course, we got the classic looking head all the way through. Uh, because he was originally with like a sort of hairspray, perfume spray feature where you could kind of push the head down, get the spray. They have opted to ditch the original feature just to keep the modular nature of the figures, which is a pretty big disappointment. For me, I just don't see how you could put the modular thing above the features of the original figures when so many of these Origins figures do have those original features. So I really wanted to spray you guys with some poisony spray here with Cobra Khan, but I guess we won't be able to do that because he doesn't have that mechanism inside. So the replacement here the circle would have just kind of that little spray nozzle in there kind of flat instead he comes with this piece clear green just kind of an effect piece like a modern action figure would have it's not a missile or anything that shoots like a maybe 80s or something action figure would be but that just goes inside that mouth hole so he can kind of look like he's spraying. It just had one shape. I mean, before, it, you know, the original feature, it really sprayed out far. So this one's very direct <laughs> with its motion. But at least you can kind of on the shelf represent the feature, even though it can't do it. To have him spraying, I mean, he does look kind of silly with nothing in there. Definitely it's supposed to be viewed from the side, just be able to see his snaky face. Otherwise he just kind of has a big crazy mouth. A little bit like Leech in that way. He has his own unique torso, which again would have held the liquid inside that he'd be able to spray with his kind of spray mechanism head. He's got a bit of a Zodak style gun, but he still has a weapon instead of just the feature that is now missing. Again, a good color choice, just kind of opposing colors for him. My international packaging didn't have his kind of subtitle that the original figure had, Evil Master of Snakes, because he was the first snake-based character before all the rest of the snake men were added. He's not even really like the leader of the snake men in anything usually. So that's a pretty high title for him. Here, of course, the Origins carding has like the snake men kind of monikers on there, and the original figure wouldn't have had that, because again, he was the first snaky character. I think also talking about the original character that these were painted a little bit different on there that there was kind of separation with these pieces. Here it's just painted all the way down. Probably a little more subtly painted in the original. But still looking nice here with the colors. I do like his snaky nostrils and stuff here. So if they weren't going to do the original feature, I feel like they could have done something with maybe giving him his look from the cartoon when he would spray, he would get that cobra looking flaps on the side would come out. I feel like that would have been at least a compromise like with Leech that you could have the suction cup head where he had his feature, but he also had an alternate head where he just has kind of the character look without the feature, without the suction cup. No Cobra flaps for Cobra Khan. I feel like he kind of missed out a little bit there. I guess there is supposed to be some kind of exclusive camo version, uh, but not something I'm going to get because it's not really something from the cartoon or anything like that. A Skeletor henchman that I've been waiting for because he was in the Secret of the Sword movie that I would have watched many times as a kid. Teaming with his buddy Webster, kind of introducing some newer characters as the henchmen, with some of the originals still at Snake Mountain in the movie. Beastman, Trapjaw, Tri Clops. But heavily featured in the movie and a few episodes of the cartoon, Cobra Khan for Skeletor. Another classic character to add. But I really wish he would have sprayed stunning sort of venom. Sleep. Maybe even could have had some different colored effects with him. I think he had orange spray sometimes in the cartoon. Of course, the artwork on the back, we got Thunder Punch He-Man taking him on. And we have Extendor in the back. Definitely one that was just a figure, not from any of the cartoons originally. So I'll have to skip that one. Of course, to get these pretty fast, I had to get the international release. So we just kind of have a blank version of the comic. We have the goddess kind of character, not just Tila. He-Man in his snake armor, and another Sun-Man character, 
Bolt Man. Of course, the Snake Man armor, kind of a last-ditch effort of the 2002 He-Man cartoon. Kind of a season change, costume change. Trying to cover him up more with armor, since all the kids were complaining, Why is he naked? For whatever goofy reason that was. So open all my Masters Universe Origins figures here. You can see the playlist. The playlist will come up. You click the playlist, go to it, it'll start playing the first video. But on the side, you can scroll through, pick any of the videos on the side. Kind of find a spot maybe you would like to start from on your own. It's been awesome opening all the Origins figures here. And I open up a lot of other retro-based figures here. New and the original old ones. See you in the next video.